heard that before, you're watching Bloomberg. <laughs> Welcome to <laughs> Not the Andrew Neil Show. Well, guys, uh, it's the last day of term. Do you remember what it was like at school the last day of term? Uh, you know, you get into fancy dress and play pranks on the teachers. Well, it's a bit like that. It was a bit like that. So today we had, actually, the, let's let's be honest, I think Joanne had um, a better speech writer this week. But we'll think, let's find out where you guys stand. Nori, what did you think of Joanne's performance today? I am sick to the back teeth of her standing up, making speeches, not asking questions. She's all over the place. I mean, there's the ploy to totally confuse us. So we have no idea what she's talking about. It, I'm really fed up with it now. I really am. It's like I don't want to listen to her anymore. Mm -hmm. It's sound bites, it's personal attacks, it's bloody pregnant pandas. A pregnant pandas. Or not pregnant, as the case may be. I don't know, yeah. You know, I mean, the speaker wants to slap her down and tell her to ask a question. That's fair enough. I'm, I'm kind of getting to that point where she's into the negative because she's doing the Westminster. She's leaving the troops like a bunch of bloody baboons. I'm really getting fed up with it. It's demeaning to the parliament as far as I'm concerned. Phil. Well, I could agree with one point. She's getting good at presenting um, what is basically a pathetic, repetitive content. But she's actually getting quite good at doing it. It's like, it's like um, something at a comedy store um, where they sit. I mean, she's going, I mean, again, Goodwin, Murdoch, uh, all these about his friends. Well, actually, he's trying to manoeuvre his way around these people that were created and sucked up to and given these positions in society um, by the last Labour government and as well by this. Now, they're all trying to blame um, Alex Hammond for manoeuvring around. The Dalai Lama, again, um, and, good presentation, uh, but basically the content is non-existent. I totally agree with Norrie. It's, 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 sorry, it's not political, it's a show. I mean, it's boring, it's a pantomime. All right, but I have to, I, I, I agree with both of you, and yet at the same time, I thought her performance was better. Um, she was, she'd been told to ignore whatever the reaction was from the, the chamber, Salmon, everybody else. Her, she'd been coached to say, right, this speech is good, it's an end of term speech, and you're going to come across as, 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 as good. And in that sense, she did. Well, I'm And she got in the point, all the points that she, they wanted to get in, because they don't, these are the sound bites that will end up in the papers, on the radio, on the television. And of course, they're the last sound bites for the summer break. It's demeaning. I'm sorry. If, if the Labour Party cannot any longer follow a socialist road, they could at least shut the fuck up when the SNP are doing it for them. Yep. It, the whole thing is it's disgusting. It, I mean, I'm now at the point where I don't care. If the SNP disappear tomorrow, I will not vote Labour. Because you're not voting Labour, I mean, on the way they're standing. I mean, it was, again, very, very negative. No, she starts harping about going to the cinema again. I mean, they had a launch on Monday. 40 people turned up. It was obviously a real, absolutely barnstorm. Did you get phoned up to go? I thought I should have mentioned everybody got phoned up, but I mean, most people were working. And they come up again, you know, this whole bit about being British. Well, sorry, anybody that lives on the British Isles is British. Mm -hmm. It predates the Romans. Uh, and it predates the English by at least 500 okay, years. Okay, well, let's stick to the performances, but let's move on to Ruth then. Rory, Ruth, what did Again, you think? Yeah, I mean, Ruth, Ruth uh, still for me, she keeps it short, she's prepared to laugh herself, she looks human, and she asks reasonable questions. I mean, it is reasonable to ask that the new leader of the Yes campaign, what's his stance on the two-question referendum? That's a reasonable question to ask. It's got bugger all to do with Parliament. Did she ever answer, give us the answer of what um, kind of an Yes, he's, is? he's a one question man. Oh, right. Oh, that, of course, that's what it was all about. But the one or two questions. He's not a member of the SNP. Mm. What, why should Alex Salmond know what his opinion on how many questions there are? He's chair of the Yes campaign. He's not Alex Salmond's lapdog. Well, Ruth? That, yeah, well, that's the whole point. Ruth and Ruth, um, obviously, from the way. Um, she takes orders, cannot understand how someone is not a lapdog and doesn't respond to orders. Um, again, yeah, she's confident, yeah, she's... 
Um, but again, nothing really there at all. There wasn't anything there at all. I like the way um, when when it came to Ruth, she stands up there and she does put on a good performance. But then she was she worked on television. She should. Mm. Um, but uh, I like the way Sam. Um, he rebutted her, anything she said, by just saying, well, how can I tell the difference between the, the Labour yes, and the Tories yeah. when, when he was accused of being confusing? That, I mean, again, I'm, I'm sorry. I just felt the whole thing today was n non parliamentary. I mean, he, he, Salmon bought into it. I mean, he did that, right? I'm going to attack the Labour Party by accusing them of partnership with the Tories, and the Tories by accusing them of partnership with the Labour. I mean, it, it was. Let my people go, he said. Yeah, I mean, a, a, a was, that, was that the answer to the question? But no. when, will, when, when will he meet the Prime Minister? Probably no, 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 that advice, came right at the very end. What it? advice will he give the Prime Minister in the Irish, British... Oh, the British Irish Council. Yeah, 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 let my, let people, my go. people go. Yeah. Um. No, right, OK, I'm smiling at it, but again. I mean, he did, he did well, again. It, there's lots of stats have come out recently. As usual, he's well briefed, he fired them out. 41% uh, of people trust. No, 71% 71 71 trust them and 18% don't trust the Westminster government. So, I mean, it's that's all, all good stuff, all grist to the mill, all unanswerable um, because basically the no campaign, the bitter together, have, uh, have used the stats as well. So they, they can play that game. Bitter? You mean but, better? No, I mean better. Well, better. Say better. <laughs> well, okay. Well, let's. Like, so, on on Salmon's performance, then, what focus on that without necessarily. We'll come back to the scores he at was, the end. He was being Salmon. I mean, he, he's mm. he's got back to the one line answer. You know, let my people go. He's good at that. He can deliver that. And there are times when, quite frankly, that's what Lamont needs. She needs to be forced to think on her feet. He should turn around to her and go, yes, no. And sit down. Yeah. What about, about Salmon's performance? Then? Salmon, I thought was good. He was very, very, very um, confident, positive, um, not so much cheeky, smiley, happy looking. I think he dealt with it really, really well. Um, though I must admit, last week I did really, really like uh, um, the deputy um, Nicola Sturgeon's uh, manner of doing it, which is a bit like Norrie was saying, you know. It, does tend towards that yes or no and just deal with it and all the rest of it. But the whole point is it could be a lot better because Joanne Lamont today had a good presentation. If she just learned to put some proper content, positive, well, what are you going to do then? Mm. Rather I, than just... I don't think that she would stop. Basically, I mean, to me, she's standing up there hoping somebody in Westminster no notices her and offers her an, offers her an MP's job. Well, that's where they all want to go. Ruth or, or Joanne. 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 I mean, that's where they all want to go, isn't it? That's well, of the whole course point. It, and of course, the, the, yeah. they, they, they also all end up in the House of Lords, these, these yeah, senior regular members. It's good career structure. It's good career structure. Apart from the, the, the SNP, because uh, nobody from the SNP goes to the Lords. No. I just... Uh, you sound frustrated today. Well, I'm, I'm annoyed that there's enough happened this week that there could have been real substance in it. Once again, the real substance came from the backbenchers. The SNP didn't make, didn't actually thrill me. Their backbench contribution was about rah rah stuff, given. Yeah, it usually is. Um, Sam and the plant for questions, yeah. But the the, the best but stuff from the backbenchers was actually when they were talking about the effect on Scotland um, of the two and a half billion by 2015 taken out of it. The poverty um, one. Yeah, well, basically, where they go into the most vulnerable people in society, um, disabled, whatever you know, disabled people, well, unemployed Westminster. people, yeah. Westminster, yeah. Um, but which actually, when it, when when it was announced, this horrendous idea of Cameron, so as he was sucking up to his um, right wing, extreme right wing backbenchers, and hardly a murmur from Labour. Well, because they're sitting there thinking, oh well, we've got to make um, some probably have to make, you know, these bad, these hard decisions, um, rather than have a go at the parasitical part of well, let's, let, society. Let's, let's have a, let's score, let's score people, and then if, we, if we've got time, we'll have a little rant after. Yeah. Um, scoring of Ruth. It's not a rant, it's frustration. Ruth, again, I mean, she always impresses me with her delivery. Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'll give her a, no, I'll give her a full eight this week. Oh, well. I'll give her a full eight, because her question was relevant. Although 
not as relevant as perhaps All right, Bill? Yeah, and she does mm -hmm. have a, a happy, kind of positive way and sign of self-depreciating, so I'll go along with, you know, I am and give her an eight. Give her an eight. Well, even though she didn't really have any I've got kind of used to her, so I'm just going to give her a six. I thought she was, she's always confident, and I say, I've started to realise that comes from her experience in the media mm -hmm. business. Um, what about Joanne, then? Uh, annoying. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um, you're right. Her delivery was better. Was she not smug? Well, she was. She bloody annoyed me. I honestly, she I really don't. Did. I think she'd been coached not to listen, well, just to, to any response, just to plod on. There's your speech. It's a good speech. Do do. I I really. Um, Out of ten. I'm getting more and more annoyed with this whole damn thing, Ralph. I really am. If she can't deliver something to her. The government in power mm. with our content. What the bloody hell are the researchers doing? Yeah. Um, mm. uh, yeah, better delivery. Six out of ten for delivery, minus six for content, so she gets nothing. You know what you get? Mm. Nothing. Bill, what does, yeah. she, what does she get? Well, uh, no, this would be no, but uh, she certainly sent out previous ignore. Yeah, the content is getting well, not the content. Her delivery is getting very, very good. But then, why should you get any marks for delivering nothing? For delivering the same jaded show All right. every yeah. single time. Just personal. Um, Just give her a score then. Well, as there was no content and the delivery is good, I'll give her halfway. I'll give her a five. Give her a five. Yeah. Well, okay. As I say, I've already explained why I think she. Uh, she I think she performed better because she plodded on and she didn't respond in any way to what anybody else said. Uh, she did she did a good speech. I'll give her a six. We've got stop it, Salmon. It's called question time. Yeah, I don't, well, we've got Salmon. Not a question. Her performance yeah. for Salmon, I mean, bearing in mind what we normally give him, and this is uh, end of term. What did, how did he get on? Did well. He did well. He, he got a few good sign bites in. What I did notice was his eyes were down on a piece of paper for quite a long time today, which is unusual for him. But, I mean, stats at his fingertips. Attention you know, to detail. You that need. kind of thing. He, he hit back where he could, made a few jokes, um, especially about the pandas. I'm sorry, he's, he's a different league. In his league performance today, I'll give him an eight. Give him an eight. Phil? Yeah, well, actually, I would go along with an eight, but then that last one at the end with the Paul Robeson song, Let My People Go. I'm sorry, I have to give him that. I'll give him a nine. I'll give him an extra point for that. I'll give him a nine. I don't think he was on his best performance today, so I mean, I'm thinking about seven and a half or somewhere about there. Um, but I did think it was quite an odd First Minister's questions. But the, po the point is that uh, Joanne's speechwriters have given... Enough had enough material to fill all the pro-unionist newspapers right across the UK for it, the yeah, summer. It was a yes, can, a, sorry, a no campaign speech. There's no political content. It wasn't a talk. question. It was a yeah. speech. Well then, guys, it's been a pleasure as well as ever, and uh, for the rest of the summer we'll be doing specials. <laughs> no, well, but no first free, minute. Is no, that free for two? Uh, yes. No first minute of questions until the beginning of September, but we'll be here every week giving you something else to think about. Goodbye. Bye.